The church's reform is here to stay. That's what Vatican officials said in a press conference presenting the Vatican's new apostolic constitution, which will restructure the curia. They explained that a fundamental aspect of the reform was accepting that the West had become secularized. That is why they've created a dicastery solely dedicated to the evangelization. In one way or another, with some cultural differences, Europe was Christian. In that context, it is logical that the most important concern was orthodoxy in the preservation of the faith. But in a context where even Italy can no longer be described as Christian, it makes sense that the focus must be evangelization. In this new emphasis on evangelization, the lady will have a greater presence. For example, from now on they will be able to lead the many Vatican departments. This is new in that it affects everyone. At the same time, it goes without saying that each dicastery, by virtue of its nature, tasks and focus, will assess the opportunity to extend the workforce to include the laity. Another important aspect of these reforms is the greater importance placed on the Episcopal and regional conferences in the Church's decision-making. Pope Francis wants a less centralized and more collaborative government, which will encourage greater participation and discussion. For this reason, the Secretary of State, which Pope Paul VI placed at the heart of the Curia, will no longer have that role. Instead, it will have less economic independence and be subject to more oversight. The new constitution also reflects efforts to be more economically transparent, something the Cardinals asked of Pope Francis on the eve of the 2013 conclave.